Exploring prepositions. Your pathway to directions in English. Hello, language learners. Today, we're venturing into the exciting world of prepositions. More specifically, we're going to tackle direction prepositions. These are the magic words that will help you to give, understand, and interpret directions accurately in English. So, grab your compass and let's get started. Before we start using them in our sentences, it's important to know what direction prepositions are. Simply put, direction prepositions are words that show the direction or location of something or someone in relation to something else. Some common examples include words like to, from, towards, into, out of, across, through, and many more. Now, Let's dive deeper and understand the role they play in sentences. Direction prepositions usually come before a noun, pronoun, or gerund, and indicate the direction of that noun, pronoun, or the action of the gerund. Consider these sentences. The cat jumped onto the table. She is heading towards the library. In these sentences, onto and towards are direction prepositions giving more context to the action being performed. In English, different prepositions indicate different directions. Let's explore a few key ones. Two, denotes movement from one place to another. Example, she is going to the grocery store. From, indicates the starting point of a movement. Example, he traveled from Spain to France. Towards, suggests movement in a particular direction. Example, the bird flew towards the tree. Into and out of, shows movement inside or outside a place. Example, she walked into the room. He ran out of the house. Across, indicates movement from one side to another. Example, he swam across the lake. Through, suggests movement from beginning to end or inside something. Example, we walked through the park. Now, it's time to put what we've learned into practice. Try to create your own sentences using each of the direction prepositions we've discussed today. Remember, the key to mastering prepositions is practice and application in various contexts. And there we have it, the path to mastering direction prepositions in English. You're now equipped with new tools to enhance your English communication, especially when it comes to giving and understanding directions. Remember, the more you practice using these prepositions in sentences, the more naturally they'll come to you in conversation. Keep practicing and exploring, and you'll find your way in the English language in no time.